Well, it's football season, and that, of course, means some exciting Friday nights at the area high schools, but it also means leagues for younger players as well as cheerleading programs. Two things that offer Lima's youngsters an organized opportunity to work together, learn teamwork, and so much more. Today, we introduce you to the Marky Chooks Show. Marky Chooks and Travis Monford come together to create a show. They've been doing it for several years now, local interviews and posting their show online. Today, we bring you this special interview about the value of cheerleading programs in the city of Lima. What's up, y'all? It's your man about town, Marky Chooks, and it's football season, and you got a lot of young men and young ladies that are participating, whether it be actually playing in the football game or a cheerleader. Uh, Travis is out and about right now, and he's out with the coach from the cheerleading squad for the Gators, uh, Miss Crystal Jones. How you doing, Crystal? What's up, Travis? That's right, Marky. It's that time of year again, man. You, you hear the whistles in the background, you smell the grass, and you got Crystal Jones with you. When you got Crystal Jones, grass, whistles, it means one thing only. Football season is here. We're talking to Crystal about uh, Little League girls uh, cheerleading. Uh, talk to me about it. Why is it so important to have these young ladies out here, Crystal? And what got you started doing it? Well, it's very important, Trav, and hello, Marky and everyone. Um, it's very important because um, it builds a foundation for our girls. It gives them a safe haven. Um, with so much going on in our world and our community today, I just feel like it's very important to have our young girls starting out at a very young age. Uh, my youngest out here now is two years old. Um, just to, you know, build them up in the right way, um, teach them some, some fundamentals of cheerleading, something that there's also scholarships offered in. Um, and just to get them that, that family atmosphere, that um, that background of, you know, discipline and, and things like that. Okay, Marky, uh, if you don't know, Crystal been uh, coaching cheerleaders since the early 70s. So talk about it. <laughs> no, talk about it, Crystal. You've been doing this for uh, a long time. Uh, last year you were posting that, hey, you're, you're going to step away from it because it was just your time. But you're back out here again. Talk about how long you've been doing it and why you had to come back at least one more season. Well, this is my 15th season. Um, it's been a long time, a very long time. I'm getting old and my body don't move the way it used to. The pounds have packed on, but um, I love it. It's a passion. It's hard to just to just separate from it. Um, the, the reason I wanted to kind of step back is to give the girls what they deserve. You know, somebody that can still get out there, somebody that can still give it 100%. Um, I have a son who plays basketball and football in high school, a daughter who cheers and does track in high school. Uh, my other daughter, you know, she's going into her middle school sports now. And I think it's kind of unfair to, to not only my kids because I'm taking time away from them, but to the kids that I have out here because, you know, I still have to, have to give my kids some time too. So I just don't give it, I can't, I'm unable to give 100% of my all anymore. So that's why I'm kind of going to try to step away soon. But um, that was the plan this year, and I couldn't. I just couldn't do it yet. I got to make sure the foundation is, you know, 100% for them. Okay, and one last thing. Tell the people out there why they should come out and support the Gators and the Gator cheerleader. What is it so, so fantastic and amazing about Gator football that a person should say, you know what, I need my son, my daughter to be a part of that, and I need to come out there and support them? Family. We're all about family. I mean, it's, I mean, from, it doesn't matter who you are. Once you step on this field at Cook Park, you become our family. And and we're just really big on that. It's Gator Nation, you know. And there's people who've who've turned away and who've gone other places, and that's okay, because we still love them, and they're still our family. But, you know, I just feel like that that's one of the key things, you know, just having that foundation. Somebody, I have girls that I'm coaching their daughters now who I coached. I was a shark for two years, but um, that's where I started out at. And we were turning so many kids away back then that, um, you know, Jeremy... Um, decided to start his own team. Okay, Marky. Um, well, that's it with me and Crystal out here at Cook Park talking with the Gators uh, cheerleading. Uh, got Gators football over here. Make sure you guys look out for those uh, football games coming up this fall uh, within the next couple of weeks. So make sure you're looking out for those. Uh, get out there and check them out. Um, from out here in Cook Park, me and Crystal, send it back to you, Marky. Tell me peace, Crystal. Peace, Marky. See y'all. Bye-bye. All right, peace to you too, Trav and Crystal. Uh, like I say, um, these teams... Um, if you see these teams out and about, uh, or bake sales or car washes or anything like that, make sure you support them off the field as well as on the field. Uh, remember that the children are our future. Uh, this is Marky Chooks with the Marky Chooks Show, and we signing out. Y'all have a good day. Y'all be blessed. Love one another. Peace.
Marky Chooks and Travis Monfort are regularly interviewing local individuals for their show. We encourage you to find them online by searching The Marky Chooks Show on YouTube, on Facebook, or other places on the internet.